Hello, this is Lee Garden Free, and welcome to another splendiferous, fantabulous match in my tournament shenanigans and the epic. Well, the epicness and non epicness of its undoings, I guess you could say. Um, this is my army. Um, what a day to pick no Dachus, right, in this foggy day. I mean, look at them all. Uh, how many no Dachus have I got here? Three, six. Six no Dachus, no veterancy. I took the um, advice that. Um, why is there no sound coming from my men? No, it's men coming from my general. Um, I took the advice of uh, some people to heart and I decided to go for a mass army instead of a quality army like I did last time. Uh, I've got Yari Ashigaru. Uh, my plan with these guys was to, if he has any archers in these conditions, which I highly doubt, my um, enemy Admiral Price would, I'd use these in Spearwall. Right, let me just pause it here real quick here. Um, and I'd use that to protect my general, and <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And then on the side, I have, this is where all my veterans he's gone, uh, two Yari Cavalry with two vets, and two Great Guard with five vets, and then I have my Katana Cav out to scout the field. I was hoping that Admiral Price, Admiral Price, if we just quickly have a look at him, he's basically got the same army as me, he's got two Light Cav out at the minute, some Yari Ashigaru, uh, some Cav, I can't believe I didn't see those Nodachis when I had the chance, shit. Um, Yari Ashigaru, more Yari Cav, and a Great Guard, and more Cav. So, at the moment it's anyone's game, we have very, very similar armies. They're essentially the same, apart from his veterancy has gone on no Dutchies and my veterancy has gone on cavalry. And he, well, you'll see what happens. So he's advancing his light cav here. I'm going to be skipping a lot of this, by the way, to fit it in the time frame, hopefully. So he's, uh, anyway. So he advances his light cav, and then he's like, oh, well, I'm going to stare at you, and I was like, fine, I'm going to run away from you. And then I think, well, hold on, those are two light cav, and this is a veteran katana cav. If I spread out my units for the charge, surely this is just going to work and rape him. Um, as you can see, he's going to try and get his men off so he can turn them into, like, spearmen, essentially, but I'm just like, eh, uh, no. Scatter horses to the four corners of the earth and die. So, that's one raped, instantly, and I'm like, oh, yes, this is a good start to the match for me. He gets the other one off, but I think, well, they're at half morale, and these are Katana Cav. Katana Cav, rah, so let's just try our odds. And amazingly, maybe it's because they're Katanas, so they're like better in close combat than normal Yari Cav, and they have the morale um, disadvantage here. I am going to crap on these Light Cavalry, basically. Um... Um... By the uh, Mori, I'm the uh, I'm the uh, Hojo. By the way, I actually remember that this time. Yay! I'm so happy. I'm screaming tears of joy. Screaming tears of joy. Right. So my um, tactic with the cavalry now, while I capture the um, armory on the other side, and he captured the sword dojo, was to just intimidate him, um, give him something to be worried about, <laughs> make him think like, yeah, if you make one move, I'm going to get on you with these. Uh, these great guard admiral. I'm gonna get on you with these great guard and these katanas. So let's just fast forward a bit here. Uh, so not a not a whole lot goes on. Let's just put this up here. I'm bringing my cavalry to try and get the general. Um, I'm spreading them out in a wide formation to try and make his uh, Ashigoro split into different ways. I could have gone for the general now actually if I'd thought about it, but I was too scared of the cavalry here. So I'm gonna retreat from there. And then let's just get some more speedy shenanigans up and going. Um, so yeah, and then I'm going to flank on the left apparently. I don't remember doing this, but okay. Um, these are my great guards, which I probably shouldn't have wasted so eagerly, but you know, I was just like, whatever. Uh, he's going to retreat his general, but then I see that he's Ashigaru moving along. No, 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 this isn't the Ashigaru moment yet. So we're just going to keep on... Skipping along, and then as you can see here, yeah, there we go. He, I saw that he turned his Ashigaru around for like a quick second, so I'm just going to get a real quick charge off there. I lost quite a few cav though in that exchange, and I don't know, 30 Ashigaru to uh, 9 Great Guard probably isn't the best exchange in the world. So here comes what I thought was what was left of his cavalry, a Great Guard and Yari Cav. Because I knew he had more units in the forest, but I assumed they'd be infantry. Uh, I didn't think anyone would just bring um, Ashigaru to a fight. Um, so I was thinking at this point, well surely I've got the advantage. As you can see here I've got my katana cab in the forest so that I can try and get some sort of L box formation going on on this man if he tries to rape me. Wait, 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 play, play. Oh, sorry. 
So yeah, he's attacking me with his uh, Yara Cav and his Great Guard. I'm going to use uh, my overwhelming ambush deployment to try and just rape these guys quickly before the Ashigara get involved. Um, I don't want to lose my Great Guard, nor do I want to lose my Yari Cavalry at the minute. I'm okay if I lose my Katanas, I don't know why, just, that's my logic. So, I'm retreating here from the Ashigaru, I really don't want to lose what I thought was a Cav advantage. So I'm just going to retreat here. I managed to kill one unit, I think I managed to kill his Great Guard, yeah, I scattered his Great Guard. Oh no, hold on, it was his Yari Cav, and his Great Guard's like, oh wait, hold on, where are you going? And I'm like, oh, just over here to kill you, and he's like, oh yeah, okay. So... There goes a great guard, and I'm thinking, great, this is brilliant, I have slaughtered all of his cavalry, I now have the cav advantage, and I don't want to engage across this riverbed, because I know he could pin me down, and I don't want to cross it, it's just a bad idea. So I'm going to march my men the long way around, I was willing to take my time with this battle. Uh, let's just fast forward it then again while this is all going on, you ain't missing much. Um, sorry I want to fast forward it, because I swear to god that the, the time frame for a video is 15 minutes and the uploads take long enough as it is, and I really want to get this done before uh, my afternoon shenanigans on this sunny, summery day for once in England is actually going on. Doesn't sound British. Um, okay, with these Cav, I'm just going on patrol. I wanted to find what else he had out here, and here's proof just to people that kind of got confuzzled as to how I didn't see those Nodachi. I don't know if it's because it's the added fog and the hill and the fact that my Yorick have weren't like light cabs, so I don't think they've got as good spotting distance. But I march on up here, thinking that I could see straight into there, and all I see is the warrior nuns. And I really am not good with spotting distances. I thought I should be able to see in the forest from here, and if I went into there, I'd still see units in there. All I saw was the warrior nuns, who I haven't actually faced in battle until this point. And as you can see, the Nodachis just haven't appeared whatsoever, and I'm like, oh, okay. So, he's, I know he still has units somewhere, but I'm like, well, I can't find them. Maybe he's got them hidden elsewhere. So, really, I should have taken this initiative and um, ran my units around, but I was too scared of getting them fatigued. Because Nodachis get incredibly fatigued very fast. So, I'm just using my cap to scout around. Um, and then I'm going to try some of this overarching cab crap. Uh... Literally, I'm just like, yeah, I have cavalry. I dare you to try shit. I dare you with your Ashigaru, which will rate, rate me and my the warrior nuns, which I should have known about. Yeah, so I tried to make a gun for the general, protect it with the Ashigaru. He's really boxing me in with those Ashigaru, trying to like get me confuzzled. Some clever tactics there, really. You know, like I don't know why he has the Ashigaru out here, but it's working. You know, it's working very, very well indeed. Uh. So I'm just going to retreat my cavalry and wait for my bulk of my army to appear. So that's where we are as of now. So as you can see on the minimap, my men are slowly getting over here in a nice curvature formation. It's like following a racetrack. This would be great for like a go-karting track actually or something. And this just looks like a muscly arm. Maybe I'm just being uh, puzzling. Anyway. Uh, he moves his Ashigaru over to the left, I suppose, on his side. He brings up his warrior nuns over on the far side there. Which you can't see in this fog. This fog, this fog and the snow is, in the winter is insane. It made battling very interesting, to say the least. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. What's going on here? Hold on, let's just... What's going on in the world of me? Um, I'm moving up my calf. And now here's the f major fail of my... Uh, of my uh, moments. These warrior nuns are walking. I thought I could catch them unawares, the and I didn't realise what happens if you charge warrior nuns. I'm about to find out though. Basically, uh, to Ray. I mean, thank god I didn't charge my great guard in, and then he imprisons them with the Ashigaru. And I think I do lose this Yari cap. I mean, I was completely stupid to think that would have worked. I don't know why I thought that would work. I just, I just thought that... They weren't attacking me, but they were, and a, a good charge would still do considerable casualties to such a small unit, but uh, there you go, lesson learned. So anyway, here is the real meat of my army, the the, the, the big one, the, the real deal, the bee's knees of units. We're ready for a war, we are ready for a battle. So uh, let's just do some more of that fast forwarding shit. So he's just going to move his Ashigaru around in a... Trying to protect his flanks against my cavalry, which I tried to hide in ambush, as you can see from the mini map. I'm sorry, this is a very mini map based game. 
Just, uh, it's, it's a long match. It's a very long match. Uh, moving my cav around, trying to be intimidating. And then here he goes. Heavily upgraded Nodachis here. Uh, three Nodachi, four Nodachi veterans. So, veteran C wise, he has an advantage. And probably infantry wise, he does have an advantage here, I suppose. Although I do have more numbers, I think. I don't know. Hold on. Four, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's actually about equal. Might have a slight advantage. As you can see, I'm moving my cav around to get the advantage. He's moving his men up. And I'm like, well, fuck this. And I thought I could retreat to get him into this choke point here, which was my intention. Uh, it kind of worked, but kind of didn't work. You'll see what happens. So he's marching in, he's marching in, and retreating back. And then I think, well, this is the time when we go to war, gentlemen. So I move my spin back in, put them in spear wall. And my intention with these guys is to take the charge of the Nodachi and take it well, uh, for that matter of fact. Um, and then they serve their purpose very well. Uh, Admiral Price charges in those veteran Nodachis. I've got my Ashigaru here in spear wall formation to absorb this charge in like an imprisonment option. And option. So uh, there we go. He's going to charge in. He's going to smash these Ashigaru to hell. But now that I've absorbed the charge, I can bring in my Nodachis with their Banzai ability, and I can counter charge his Nodachis that have been absorbed with my Ashigaru. And I'm just going to march these ones around, going for the general maybe. Nope, I'm going to go for those Nodachi, I think. And then let me just point you out here: this is the, my worst mistake. Can I pause you? Yes. This is the worst mistake I've ever done on a show, Total War game ever. I'm so zoned into the battle, and I thought I had killed all this cavalry. I <laughs> didn't see. These two Yaris and the other Great Guard from across the goddamn map. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, because the infantry fight, I mean, it, it, it's going to him for now, but I have overwhelming numbers that will, will play in my favour. And then I see a gap in his general here. He's putting his general to stun the fight behind his Ashigaru lines. And you see, my overflow is that I commit my Ashigaru because I thought that my general doesn't need protection. So, there we go, I see a, a gap in his general. And um, he's moved his Ashigaru way enough, just long enough for me to get a valiant charge into his, uh, into Mori Montanari. And now things are starting to look in my favour. And I was like, this is it guys, I've actually won a match on the fricking tournament, I knew I could have a good chance at the loser's bracket, I knew that victory would eventually come my way, and then I commit my Lashiari, and then, look what uh, decides to uh, show up behind my flank from across the goddamn map, nah, no, it's so painful to watch, you don't actually understand how painful this is to watch, I'm being truthful, my entire line, which was at the verge of winning, now crumbles under a horrible brutal flank attack, which I didn't see coming until I heard that my general's in grave danger. And now I'm like, oh shit. So I'm moving my cab out as quick as I can. But it's looking bad. He's hammering and build my units. I mean actually at this point it could have looked like an even battle, but he's disintegrating my lines. My generals have to retreat here. Moving my cab around. And now my men's morale is gonna start to plummet really fast. My cav are getting pinned down on his uh, units there. My centre line collapses without stand and fight enabled. Hojo Jiasu is in grave danger and he dies. And then there goes what's left of my morale. And my short but exciting time in the uh, Emma Commentaries tournaments. Thank you for watching anyway. And uh, I'll be putting up more videos hopefully where I don't do this horrifically bad. <laughs> but uh, thank you for the opportunity and uh, good game to Admiral Price there. Uh, Lee Guard now, so I'll be seeing you around.